We just released playlists. Let me show you around. Here's a website that I built in 60 seconds, literally using ZipWP. You should certainly check it out, but I made this to be a course website, but playlists are useful for much more than courses. And so I created a new page here for showcasing the playlist feature called Beard Care 101. And you can see the playlist feature that we just added in action right here. Everything that we've done is gorgeous. So let me go ahead and click on play and play this video while I explain what we've built for you. And then I'm going to show you how you could build it for yourself with just a few clicks. So the playlist feature is going to allow you to put a series of videos together, much like you see here over here on the right, you could see each video in the playlist. These text strings right here, you can see I customized this. All of the text strings are fully customizable and translatable, including the snippet of text for each video and the length of the video that I chose to put here, where the real power of Presto Player's new playlist feature is though, is with all of the Presto Player features that you can add to the videos that are inside of the playlist. This is what makes this truly unique. But I must say, right now I'm gonna show you my favorite feature, and I'm gonna show you another variation of the playlist that I did. Let me show you my favorite feature, and we made it similar to Netflix. So at the end of a video, let me go to the end of this video right here. So let's see, I'll go right there. Watch what happens. We made it Netflixy and it is got four, three, two, one. Check this out. It's just like Netflix. It says up next. It shows the name of the next video and there's a button to rewatch the previous one or watch the next video and there's a timer and you can set how long that time is. I have it set to 10 seconds and it automatically jumps to the next video. And then, like I said, where this keeps all those Presto player features that are so powerful, what it will also do is how a watcher sets the video. For example, if they want the playback speed to be 1.5 times the playback speed, which is the one I like, it's gonna remember that for each of the videos that it plays in the playlist. If you want the videos to remember where they left off, so say I need to go and I go here and I click on pause and I come back, it will remember exactly where I left off in the playlist. Let me show you how to make one of these, but before that, let me show you another variation that I did. So this is essentially block you add to your canvas. So check this out. I wanted to stretch what I could do here. So I put the playlist inside of a container and I matched the color of the background of the container to the black that I put where the list of videos show. And then I made the, the size of that container the full size of the browser of the person that's viewing the video. And it creates this very large engaging experience right here that kind of feels like masterclass. So now that I've shown you to these two variations, let me show you how you can make a playlist. Now, the very first step is to add the videos you want inside of your playlist into the Media Hub. Media Hub is under Presto Player right here where it says Media Hub. I've obviously gone ahead and done this and you probably already know how to do this. Now keep in mind when you're adding your videos, you can create a custom preset for these videos. If you want to add any of the Presto Player features to those videos, such as the opt-in gate or the calls to action, anything that you want, you can add those to the videos here in the playlist. So. Now let's actually create the playlist and these can be added to anywhere on your site. So let's go ahead and create a brand new page for this playlist. I'll go ahead and give this a title and I've named it Beard Masters. 
I'm growing a beard. So that's what I'm into lately. Now, this is the block editor. You can go and click on the plus here into the block inserter. Scroll down to where the Presto Player blocks are and you will see it listed right here. It says Presto Playlist. So I'll click right there. Now, we also could have done a search here. There's multiple ways to add blocks to pages and posts. And this is what you're gonna see. First thing it's gonna do is ask you to select the videos that you want in the playlist. And when I click on here, it's gonna show me the videos from the Media Hub. So I'll just go ahead and choose the first one, click Add to Playlist. Now, if I want to add additional videos, I can click on the plus right here. This will pull up and I'll choose another video and click on Add to Playlist. And let's just add one more. So we'll have a playlist with three videos. And you can see it's already looking fantastic, but there's a ton of customization options that you have. So I like to first click on the list view, which is this icon right here. You could just click on the playlist itself and some of the options are gonna appear here in the right. I just like to go like this and do it this way. It's completely up to you. So now that we have this open, let's take a look at some of the options that are available right here. First, you're gonna see the text strings. So the word playlist, you can see it appears here. This can say whatever you want. And what are these called? Are they lessons? Are they videos? You can choose the singular term and the plural term. And you can see it's used right here where it says three videos, just like that. Next, you can choose the transition duration. That's that really cool Netflix effect at the end. By default, it's gonna be set to five seconds and you can put whatever delay that you want here. I personally kind of like 10 seconds. And then don't forget, you also have this tab right here you can click on to access the styles. And this is where you can change the styles here. So the first one let's take a look at is the highlight color. And you can see right now it's the Presto player color. I click right here, I can choose something different. Let's choose maybe this blue and you saw how it just changed instantaneously. Now, if I choose the background color, it's gonna be this area right here. So I can choose a different background color if I wanted to. Like that, it blends in. I think I'm gonna keep it as white though. And then you can choose a different color for the text. So if the background happens to be a dark color, you'll notice you can barely see the text here. So you might wanna go to text and make that a bright color as well. And you see it comes to life. So you can just balance this out. Let's go and clear this option. There's a clear option there too, if you're experimenting and clear. And there we have it. And this is looking really good, but there's still some more styling options. So I've clicked on this and then let's go back. Now we could set a border color and size, and we can also set a border radius. Now you can see it's very subtle, but we're adding a border radius by default. If you don't want that, you can click right here style, border radius, enter zero. And now you'll see it's it's eliminated the border radius and it has that sharp edge. So you could set that to however you want it to be. If you wanted more of a border radius, you could go maybe 10 like that and it's um, a bit more rounded. Let's move forward. And then we also have the border itself. So let's put a, I don't know, let's put like five and you can see by default it's this gray color but you might want to do something different so let's go ahead and choose this black color and you now have a fully branded playlist so let's go back and revert some of these options so i'm going to change this back to zero and i'll clear the radius out so these are the styling options that you're gonna have for the overall playlist. Now the player itself is according to the preset that you have added to the video inside of the media hub. Now the fun doesn't end there. Each of these videos, it's gonna pull the, the, the name that you gave it inside of the media hub, but you can click into it like that and there's some options here. So the first is the title, and this is the label that will appear right there, and you can put whatever you want in there. You don't have to stick with that. And then duration. Duration is going to be added to the far right. Now, a little tip with this, 
I like to put the number of minutes. In this case, you can see it's five. I like to put the number five and the letter N, M for minutes. So 5M, just like that. Now you can go 5M and then you can add, say, 05S. That's also an alternative variation. I think it's just cleaner, just rounding the minutes out, down, or something like that. But it's entirely up to you how you do it. That's just a tip. You can also go like this, 5, and then you can do 05 like that if you want. Um, that's also a nice-looking alternative. You can do this however you want, but what's nice about this is it's going to give the person watching the video and the playlist an idea of how long the video is so they can evaluate if they have enough time to watch that video. And then once you're done customizing your playlist, all you have to do is click on Publish, like this and your page with the playlist will be live. Now there's a ton of very practical ways that you could put this to use for you and your business. The obvious one would be to create a lightweight video course that would just delight the people that are learning from you and they'll be very impressed with this very fun to use, easy to use, very useful video playlist feature. It'll, it'll make it a breeze to learn from you. And then you can protect the page that you put this on with something like Shore Members, which is a perfect complement to Presto Player. A way that we're going to be using this across all of the products we make is to have education for our users. So don't be surprised if in a few weeks there's a implementation of this on the Presto Player website where we're just showing our users how to get the most out of Presto Player. So that's how we'll end up using this. There's just so many practical ways to use this. And then when you mix in the powerful features of Presto Player, for example, video analytics, we're tracking who is watching what and for how long, and we're taking all that data and we're making it available for you. If you want to use this to capture leads, you can create a preset for the videos that will be in here that have an opt-in gate. So to watch the video, they have to give you their email. And all they'd have to do is give it to you one time and all of the videos would be unlocked. Then you can use short triggers to pass that off to whatever email tool that you use or use that information however you want. So there's a ton of practical ways that you could use this feature in your business. I'd love to hear what you think about it in the comments down below. Thanks for using Presto Player and thanks for watching this video.